Hey everybody, Michelle here with Battlefords and Lumenster Fit Body Bootcamp. Just finished the noon workout with a great group of campers and there was three coaches here today working out too. So that was a lot of fun when we get to work out together. A little bit of smack talk going on and that's, that's always a great time. Uh, what we're going to talk about today is about what to do when you don't feel supported in your health and fitness goals. And as crazy as it is, I do hear that quite often about uh, in the consults about um, we talk about spouses and, and will they support you, you know, in this journey. And sometimes women say no, they don't, they, my husband isn't supporting me on this or my partner or whatever it is. And um, so we talk about that. We, we, you know, we make sure that we then give them as much support as they need to because it's really tough when you don't have that support at home. And it's not only the support at home, but it's also support in the staff room. Uh, I know that sometimes people kind of try to sabotage us or um, consciously or unconsciously try to sabotage us because they're a little bit threatened by our success because if we succeed that means they can too and they don't necessarily want to and also if you give in to the treats or whatever that they bring that means they knew it they you can't stick to a diet so why even bother right you just proved it to them by indulging so we don't necessarily always have the support that we want. And, you know, I, I hear, well, my husband should support me. My, my parents should support me. My sister should support me. My friend should support me. No, they shouldn't. That's not their job. Your job is to support yourself. Your job is to believe in yourself. Your job is to get your mind right so that you will continue with your health and fitness goals no matter what obstacles are thrown in your path. So while the support is wonderful and it helps encourage us and helps motivate us don't let the lack of support um, hold you back um, you know I get people who say oh my husband won't says he won't eat that rabbit food and I'm tired of cooking two meals so I'm just I'm quitting or I can't get my kids to eat what they what I eat so um, I can't do this anymore you know different things like that so uh, I'm asking you to to be your own support no matter what. That is your responsibility. That is not the responsibility of other people. And it's not your responsibility to try to fix them or to try to force that support. Um, the more we nag and the more we uh, beat people up for for the way we feel or the way we think they're making us feel, um, the more they're going to continue their behavior for the most part. So we don't want to be that nag. We don't want to be that person who's always complaining about the lack of support. Be your own support, 100%. Be your own cheerleader. Step up to the step up to the um, to the challenge and uh, support yourself because in the end, that's all that really matters, right? That that's all. It's it's not anybody else's job to carry you through. We're here at both Fit Body locations to help you when the when the time is times get tough or you feel there's a hurdle or there's something you're trying to get over. We will help you and support you all that we possibly can but we can't go home with you so you need to be your own support outside of the facility and uh, stick to your guns be strong and um, you know change your perception sometimes of the things that happen to you and understand that the role in your health and fitness goals is major and the only one that really matters okay so be strong again and uh, believe in yourself and be your own cheerleader, 100% be your own cheerleader. All right, have a great weekend.